Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jen, also known as Bless Yoga, and today we're going to be doing a nice hip opening, releasing flow. So whenever you're ready, we'll hop on our mats and we'll get going. Okay guys, so today we're gonna start out in a child's pose. Let's take our knees super wide, almost as wide as your mat, big toes together to touch, hips pressing back towards your heels, stretch your arms out in front of you and let your head rest nice and heavy down onto the mat beneath you. And just taking that moment to start settling into your mat, into the ground beneath you, feeling the hips rest nice and heavy back towards the heels. And if you haven't already, closing off the eyes, feeling the weight of the hands, the forearms, the elbows, your forehead, rest nice and heavy down into the ground beneath you. And just taking a moment to leave anything that's happened or hasn't happened in the day already, and maybe something that needs to happen after you finishing practicing today, and just come right into the present, knowing that all that exists is us together in the here and now, in these four corners of your mat. This is your safe space to release, to play, to practice. And just starting to tune into the breath. Trying to make the breath a little bit fuller, a little deeper every time you inhale and exhale. Maybe feeling your ribs, your belly expand against your thighs as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, feel that space that's created in your little cocoon, your little safe space. And before we start moving today, I just want you to think of one thing that you'd like to release, leave here on the mat today. Whether that thing is physical, mental, emotional, some kind of feeling or trauma or whatever it is that kind of comes to you, springs to mind, that you know doesn't serve you to your highest potential. It doesn't set your soul on fire. It doesn't make you the best version of yourself. And we're going to try and release that in our practice today, especially as we're going to move through quite a few hip openers. It's a nice way to just release anything emotional that's trapped in that space. As you breathe in, gently lifting the head, lifting up and out of your hips into a tabletop, knees underneath hips shoulders over wrists and just starting to rock sway side to side forwards and back mindfully moving releasing that compression into the hips and then we're going to sit back towards our heels again coming back to our child's pose maybe we can sit a little bit closer to the heels now keeping the head lifted elbows lifted let's thread the right arm through the gap in the left side Take a moment, letting the weight of the body rest through that shoulder. And then as we inhale, taking your left palm to your lower back, keep that shoulder opening. Keep your elbow pulling back as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, try to open a little bit more, twisting your chest towards the sky. 
deep breath in. As you breathe out, open up. And then gently releasing, left arm back to the floor, right hand coming forwards, we'll go straight to the other side. So threading the left arm through the gap on the right, taking your head down, shoulder down. And then when you feel ready, if you can, taking your right hand to your lower back and keep trying to open up that right shoulder, twisting the chest, twisting the body up towards the sky. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, try to open up a little bit more. Good. Gently releasing, right hand forwards, left hand unravels, and slowly lifting up into hands and knees, tabletop. Let's move through some cat and cows. As we inhale, belly lowers, lift the chest. As we exhale, push and round, nice big arch, and really try and tuck the tailbone under so the hip flexors get nice and long. Inhale, belly lowers, lift the chest. Exhale to push and round, arching through the spine. Really nice, one more round. Inhale, we lower. And as you exhale, chin to chest, nice big arch, through the spine and then walking your hands back towards your knees sit back towards your heels if it's possible as we breathe in we'll sweep up overhead and as we breathe out twisting to the right taking your left hand onto your knee or thigh right arm swinging back behind you keep your fingers away from the floor deep breath in as we exhale, twisting a little further round. Good, one more breath, deep inhale. Exhale to open. And then taking the right arm on top of the left arm, so our arms are crossed over at the front, grabbing a hold of your knees and start to round through the spine, chin to chest, pulling your weight backwards so your shoulder blades come out of the back. Nice big stretch through the shoulders. As we inhale, opening back up, reach overhead. As you exhale, twisting to the other side, right hand to thigh, left arm reaching back behind you. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, pulling back and make sure that your palm is facing the same way that you are so it's not turned in, shoulders nice and open, thumb to the sky. One more breath. Good, and then taking the left arm on top of the right arm, holding opposite knees, chin to chest, arching through the spine, really pulling your weight backwards, shoulder blades out your back. As we inhale, we'll release, sweep up overhead. As you exhale, coming down onto hands and knees, tabletop position. We're gonna kick our left leg back behind us, straighten it back behind you. And then three fire hydrant, basically, out to the side. So you're gonna bend into your knee, keep your knee really nice and high, hips open, and then kick back. Inhale, bring it out. Exhale. Push it back. One more. Inhale, open. Exhale, kick it back behind you. Good. Keep your core nice and strong and then lift your right arm forwards. Two breaths. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Core stays nice and strong. One more. Inhale. And as you exhale, right hand down, left knee down, other side. So kicking your right leg back behind you. And then as we breathe in, out to the side. Exhale, kick it back. Nice big hip opener. Inhale, to the side. Exhale, kick it back. And you wanna try and keep your knee nice and high. Inhale, exhale, kick back. Core stays strong, turn it on. Left hand reaches forwards. Deep breath in and out. One more breath, stay with me. And as you exhale, floating down, knee down, hand down, 
We'll tuck our toes under, press our hips up and back to downward facing dog, starting to pedal slowly through the heels, pressing your chest back towards your thigh every time a heel drops down. Inhale to switch, S exhale to press back. Good, moving slowly. Nice, and then looking forwards, big step forwards to the top of the mat, right toes, left toes. And as we inhale, we'll roll all the way up to standing, sweep up overhead. As we exhale, coming straight back down, hands through heart center, fingertips to the floor. I want you to extend your right leg back behind you, keep it hovering away from the floor. So we're relying on that left leg more than we normally would. Big step back to the outside edge of the mat, control it down, drop your back knee down, untuck your toes, and as you inhale, sweep up. And I want you to wiggle your front foot forwards a little bit more than you normally would. And then take a nice big lunge into that front knee, making sure that the right hip doesn't pull back behind you. So although we are sinking quite low and getting into that right hip flexor, we're not just dumping down altogether. So strength through the glutes, keep them firing to protect your hip. As you exhale, imagine like you're serving a platter or something on a tray in front of you. Straighten your front leg, reach forwards. If you can't straighten that front leg all the way, don't worry about it. It can always stay a little bit bent. As we inhale back into our deep lunge, arms overhead. As you exhale, press through your heel, straighten your front leg and reach your arms forward. Serve the tray. <laughs> as we inhale back up overhead nice deep lean and one more reaching forward straighten through your front leg reach your hands a little bit lower maybe and then as we inhale reaching up take a breath out hands come down frame your front foot tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee. We're gonna walk our hands ahead of our foot slightly and lift the right toes away from the floor. Now I want you to be really strong through the left leg. As you inhale, try to float your hands away from the floor. As you exhale, take them back down. Two more like that, inhale to lift, exhale, tap down. One more, inhale, lift, Exhale, tap down. Our right leg is gonna come behind the left leg. So we're in a cross leg forward fold. Both feet should be facing forward if it's possible for you. If this is really difficult and you can't quite touch your fingers to the floor, always an option to grab opposite elbows. No problem with that. And then we're gonna walk our hands over to the left hand side or just swing your body slightly over to the left. Options open, deep breath in, deep breath out. Really pressing your hips in the opposite direction. Good, coming back through center, either walking or swinging over to the right and same thing, send your hips over to the left. Good. slowly back to center. We're gonna uncross our legs so we're in our normal forward fold, either grabbing elbows or fingers on the floor. And then wherever you are, slowly, slowly rolling up to standing. Sweep up overhead. And as you exhale, we come straight back down, hands through heart center to fold. Coming to the other side, weight into the right foot, Left leg kicks back behind, keeping your foot hovered above the floor. Taking a big step back to the back of the mat. Drop your toes down, drop your knees down. Well, one knee. And as you inhale, sweep up into your low lunge. Heel toeing your front foot forward just a little bit more than you normally would. And take a nice deep lean, but with strength through the glutes into that front knee. 
As you exhale, serve your tray straight and through the front leg as much as you can, trying to keep the back nice and straight. As we inhale, low lunge. As you exhale, tray with the arms, reach it forwards. Good, one more, inhale, reach up. As you exhale, reach it forward, straighten through the front leg, maybe reaching a little bit lower this time. Keep your balance, keep your core on. Inhale, we reach up overhead. As you exhale, hands come down, frame your front foot. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and lift the left toes away from the floor. Maybe your hands need to come forward slightly more. Trying to keep the hips nice and square. Three lifts with the fingers. So as you inhale, lift away. And as you exhale, touch back down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to tap. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale down, and then we're going to take our left leg behind the right leg. So our legs are crossed over, feet are the wrong way round, and then either grabbing opposite elbows or fingers on the floor, and we're going to walk over to the right side. Send your hips to the left. Nice big stretch through the hip, through the hamstring, just about everywhere. You probably can't even work out which leg you feel it in anymore. They're all confused. <laughs> and then coming back to center over to the other side or swing to the other side, hips to the right, body to the left. Good, slowly back to center. Wait onto your fingertips. Let your left leg uncross palms to the floor and we're going to step back into our high plank upper push-up position deep breath in as we breathe out knees lower lower all the way down belly and chest like a tricep push-up inhale cobra and as you exhale tuck your toes under press your hips back into down dog three breaths try and really work on the alignment of your down dog Pressing into fingertips, elbow creases, I call them elbow armpits, but you're probably going to think I'm crazy, <laughs> crazy, facing in towards each other, armpits facing in towards each other, toes slightly turning in so we get an internal rotation in the thighs, good, and then as you inhale, left leg's going to lift to the sky. Looking forwards, big step to the outside edge of the left hand. I don't want to hear, well, I'm not going to, but no elephant thudding. If I can hear it from here and you're in Australia, you know you've done a bad job. I'm just kidding. You can't do a bad job in yoga. Drop the back knee down. I'll stop talking. As we inhale, left arm lifts. Take a breath in. As we breathe out, we're going to lift the back toes away from the floor and see if we can grab a hold of the outside edge of the foot. If you can't and you're reaching back like that, that's absolutely fine. Keep squeezing your heel to your bum. If you've got it, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, I want you to focus on leaning more into the front knee. It's not pleasant, I know. Two more. Deep breath in. Try to surrender, try to release what you no longer need to hold on to here. One more, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Big sigh, shout it out, I don't mind. <laughs> and then gently releasing the back leg, left arm to the sky. We're going to tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee, and come up onto the right fingertips. As we inhale, twisted lunge so arms and chest are reaching to the left and we've got a nice strong bend through the front leg as we inhale crescent lunge hips face forwards and as you exhale finding your warrior two and just heel to that front heel in line with the back arch of your foot deep breath in deep breath out strong arms 
We're going to straighten through our front leg, reach our arms forwards and come down into triangle pose. Left hand inside the shin, right hand to the sky. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. One more. Amazing. Bending into the front knee. Let your fingertips find the floor. If this is too much for you, you can always come up onto your thigh with your forearm. No problem. And then reach your right arm towards the left. So your arm's in line with the right ear. And we're one straight line right from our right foot to our fingers. One more breath. Press your knee back with the bottom arm. And then taking your right hand down to the floor, pivot high on the back toes and heel toe your foot over to the left. Drop the back knee down, untuck the back toes, we're in our lizard. Now if you can, coming down onto the right forearm and then taking your left hand in line, maybe your elbow doesn't touch, maybe it does. As we inhale like cactus arms, open. And as you exhale, Try to tap down. If you can't have forearms on the floor, do this variation just with arms straight. Inhale to open. Exhale to lower. Amazing. One more. Inhale. Twist it open. Exhale. Lower down. Hold for a breath. If the elbow is not quite on the floor, you're going to work it down there. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Amazing. Hands come back to the floor if they're not already. We tuck the back toe under, lift the back knee, lift our hips slightly to come out of the hip flexor and then extend the left leg up towards the sky. Amazing. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, left foot coming down to the floor. Looking forward, we're going to take a big froggy hop to the outside edges of our hands. Deep breath in. As we breathe out, froggy hop forwards, landing in our malasana, our yogi squat. Feet are on the floor, elbows inside the knees, rolling to the outside edges of the feet, not the inside edges. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more breath. Amazing. Hands coming down to the floor, lifting our hips up towards the sky. Slowly roll up to standing. Squeeze your hips forwards, reach up overhead. And as you exhale, hands to heart center, step your feet back towards each other. Nice job. Take a moment. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale to fold down, hands come down, stepping back into your high plank, upper push-up, either dropping the knees, taking the modified version, or as we inhale, we shift forwards, exhale, lower halfway, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, and as we exhale, downward facing dog, hips up high, take a breath. Moving to the other side as we inhale, right leg lifts up. As we exhale, look forwards. Big step to the outside edge of the right hand. Again, no elephant feet. Try to control the movement. Drop the back knee down. And as you inhale, reach your right arm to the sky. Take a breath. Good. And then seeing if we can lift the left foot away from the floor, grab a hold of the outside edge of your foot if you can. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Pull a little bit closer, lean into the front knee. If you don't have your foot, you're just working your heel to your bum. Use the strength of those hamstrings. I know you've got it. One more breath. Let that shit go. Mantra of the day, let it go. Releasing your left foot, right arm to the sky. We're going to tuck and lift the back knee. Strong through the legs, lift onto the left fingertips. And then lifting up into your twisted crescent lunge. Bodies twisting to the right. As we inhale, crescent lunge. 
center. And as we exhale, open up warrior two. Heel to your front arch in line, your front foot rather in line with the back arch. Deep breath in. As we breathe out, relax the shoulders. Inhale, straightening through the front leg, reach forwards, dropping down into triangle. Trying not to hold onto your leg, but rather just let the back of the hand graze the inside of your calf. Squeeze your hips forwards. and then slowly bending into the front knee. Find the floor with your right fingertips. If you can't, forearm is fine. And then we're gonna reach that left arm up and over in line with our ear. Take a deep breath, press that knee back away from you. Don't sink your shoulder to your ear. Strong through the bottom arm. And then gently releasing left hand to the floor. Pivot high on the back toes. Drop your back knee down. And heel toe your foot to the outside edge of your mat. Leaning forwards into that lizard pose. And either you're working from here, so hands lifted, like so. Or we're going to see if we can drop the left forearm down. Right hand in line. And then as we inhale... Right arm opens like a cactus arm. Exhale, really try and drop it down to the floor. Inhale, open up. Exhale, drop it down, amazing. One more, inhale to open. Exhale to drop. One breath holding, if your elbow's not quite down on the floor, deep breath in. Exhale, sink it. Amazing. Coming up onto your hands. We're going to tuck the back toes under. Lift the back knee. Hips lifted slightly. And then kick your right leg all the way up to the sky. Three like a down dog. As we exhale, right toes come down. Looking forwards, big froggy hop, bunny hop to the outside edges of our hands. Malasana yogi squat. Heels down. Hands lifted. And we're trying to press our knees nice and wide. Maybe you want to take slight rocks from side to side to get into it. Maybe you want to lift a little higher, which is going to make it harder. Just trying to keep the chest lifted. One more breath. Amazing. And then however you want to get there, coming to sit down onto your bum. Let your legs come out in front of you. Give them a shake. Really nice. And then taking your right leg at an angle, so at a right angle, shin parallel to the top of the mat, and the left leg is going to come behind. From here, trying to sit up nice and tall, either staying here if this feels like hard enough work, or maybe coming to fold forwards over that front leg, either down onto forearms, maybe all the way flat. And just taking a few breaths here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more. Really nice, slowly walking hands back towards you. And then we're gonna drag our heel a little bit closer towards us. Swing the left leg all the way around, Lord of the Fish Pose, sweep up overhead. And as you exhale, hooking your right elbow, left fingertips behind. Now, if you prefer to also get a little bit of a glute stretched from the left glute, we're gonna hug our leg in towards us instead of hooking. So options open. Twists and these kind of hip openers are so detoxing. They give you such a good opportunity to just let go, to surrender control, to surrender anything that you're holding on to. And just choosing this moment now to let that shit go. 
Let go what no longer serves you. Coming back to center slowly. We're going to pull the top leg over the bottom, coming into cow face, knee on top of knee as best as you can. Fingertips to the floor, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, beginning to fold forward. This one for me always brings up lots of emotions, lots of things that I need to release. So if that's you right now, choosing to let go, choosing this moment to release, taking a couple more breaths, make sure the sitting bones are rooting firmly down into the ground. And then slowly walking, hands back towards you. We're going to take them behind us, uncross our legs, give them a little bit of a shake in front of you. And then coming slowly to the other side. So no need to rush. Just taking the left shin parallel to the top of the mat and then the right leg behind. And you can kind of feel out what feels comfortable for you today. One side is going to feel way more awkward than the other side. It's just naturally the way our hips are mobile in one direction more than the other. Take a breath in and then gently starting to lower down onto forearms or just slightly walking arms out in front or maybe even coming all the way down to the ground. Taking three deep breaths. Deep inhale, deep exhale. One more. Amazing. Slowly walking hands back towards you. Drag this heel a little bit closer towards you and step the right foot over for our Lord of the Fish. Sweep up. As you exhale, hook the left elbow, right fingertips behind you. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, twisting a little bit further round, remembering to follow your twist with your gaze. And if you took the option to hug your knee instead of hook on the other side, try to take the same variation on this one. Deep breath in, sit nice and tall. As we breathe out, we try and twist round further. Deep inhale. Exhale to twist. Good. Coming slowly back to center, coming to our cow face, we try and pull the right knee on top of the left. Make sure both sitting bones are down onto the ground. Maybe you need to give yourself a little bit of height with a pillow or a blanket. Take a breath in, sit nice and tall. And as you breathe out, walk your hands forwards or let your forearms drop down. Closing off the eyes, this one can be super intense. So just taking time to settle into it. Sitting with your own thoughts, in your own body, with your breath. And then when you feel ready, slowly coming up and out of it, we're going to unhook our legs, feet to the floor, take our hands underneath the knees, lift the chest, and then slowly coming into our boat pose, lift the toes. Maybe if you feel like you can, reaching hands out in front. And then following me for three if you can. As we inhale, arms come up. As you exhale, hands float by your sides. Two more. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, lower. If you want to make the last one a little bit more challenging, as we inhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms overhead. And as we exhale, bend. Amazing. Toes come down. Roll all the way down onto your back. Reach your arms overhead. And as you exhale, hands come down by your sides. Feet press into the floor, walking a bit closer towards you, coming into bridge pose. We're going to reopen the hips, strengthen the glutes that protect and help us to open the hips. Staying here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more. And as we exhale, slowly rolling down. And now finding your nice, comfortable Shavasana, either extending legs out long in front of you or optioning to take the feet together, knees out wide to the side, one hand onto belly, one hand onto chest. There's options for you. It can always switch halfway through as well. And just finding that stillness again. Coming back to the present moment if the mind has started to wander. Feeling the weight of the body rest really heavy down into the mat, into the earth. And if at any point you want to straighten your legs, please feel free. We're not going to be here for too much longer. And when you feel ready, gently guiding your thighs, your knees back together to top. Extending legs if they're not already. And stretching arms overhead, get nice and long and tall, stretching out the entire body. And then however you'd like to, coming up, finding your tall seat, crossing legs over at the front of the mat. As we sweep up, taking hands overhead, palms together to touch. And as we exhale, taking hands to heart center, press into your heart space. And just take a moment. Feel the beat of the heart. And just before we finish today, I'm going to read you a little section from a poem that really resonated with me and helping me to let go of things that I knew weren't good for me anymore. So here it goes. She let go. Without a thought or a word, she let go. She let go of the fear. She let go of the judgments. She let go of the confluence of opinions swarming around her head. She let go of the committee of indecision within her. She let go of all the right reasons. Wholly and completely, without hesitation or worry, she just let go. She didn't ask anyone for advice. She didn't read a book on how to let go. She just let go. No one was around when it happened. There was no applause or congratulations. No one noticed a thing. Like a leaf falling from a tree, she just let go. There was no effort. There was no struggle. It wasn't good and it wasn't bad. It was what it was and it is just that. In the space of letting go, she let all be. And a small smile came over her face. A light breeze blew through her and the sun and the moon shone forever. Just taking a moment to let that sink in. Bow your head towards your hands. 
Namaste. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me in this practice today. I hope you felt the benefits of release, of getting rid of those things that you know don't serve you, that you know don't make you your best or your truest self. So I hope you can leave the mat today without any of that rubbish that you know you don't need. I really hope to see you back on the mat very, very shortly. Love you all. Mwah.